Welcome back to RimWorld. So I've been reading your feedback on the last episode, which is very, very helpful, by the way. Thank you for that. And there's one comment that's popped up a lot, and that is quite simply, um, put sandbags on the entrance behind this wall that I sort of point out here. What that will do is apparently they can't stand on sandbags and shoot, so they'd have to move off into the kill box. So what we might want to do, in fact, uh, instead of just putting it right in that wall, what we probably want to do is something like that, right? So they're actually forced to move around the corner entirely and be pushed into the kill box here. Not a bad plan. Now... From what I've read and some of the feedback that you guys have given me as well, especially on Discord, so thank you for that one. I think it was Alchemia who told me this. Basically said that um, now, apparently in Rimworld, traps are one use, which makes no use to I thought it was literally just the wooden ones that, that broke after one use, but apparently it's all of them. So those, in my opinion, seem completely freaking pointless if you build yourself like a steel trap, and then a rat walks over it and triggers it, and you lose it. So I'm not going to do that, because the whole point of this was to be have um, sort of replaceable traps along it, where we could just walk them through there and they, they die. So instead of having this shit thing, which is basically just a massive waste of resources in hindsight, go ahead and get rid of all that. Um, we'll go ahead and get rid of all of this. Because again, my own colonists would have to walk out of this if we ever wanted to leave. So that's completely pointless. That, that's just um, a lot of inconvenience for no real benefit. So instead what we'll do, we will definitely use these sandbags. And we'll place them behind these walls as well, just so they can't take cover behind that. Now, mm, the issue with that is, we do want to make a very small maze, but not to the extent that it was. Um... So what I'm thinking, we, we obviously triple barrel this wall as well. So we do it like that. And we'll just sort of lure them. So there's the entrance. So instead we'll have them go down there like that. Um, that way they're, they're going to be staggered. They're also forced down here through and around the sandbags. We'll put another sandbag there as well. Just so they have to climb all the way over and come into the kill box. I feel like that's not a bad plan. Um, what we could do is also un remove, unremove, unbarrel this wall here, undouble barrel it. Um, I don't know how you describe that. My English isn't my first language, except it absolutely is. Um, we'll triple up this bit here. So that way what we'll do is we'll put another sandbag sort of here and here and try and force them right out into the, uh, into the kill box. Now in theory, from what I've been reading from you guys, that should work. But of course, if there's anything wrong with it, again, let me know and I'll fix it for next time. It was just way too complicated. And again, it would have worked fine if, um, oh, you know what, if we're doing this. Yeah, I kind of want this generator though, but shit. I might completely redesign the whole thing. I mean, that'll do for now, though, won't it? Right, um, we'll build a little mud moat as well to try and slow them down extra, double extra. So as they sort of filter in, the first ones will be slowed down, and we want them to speed up again towards the end, so they'll be caught here whilst others are passing through. Um, so what I want to do is something like... Oh, shit, I'm, I'm getting back into the overcomplicated mode again. Hang on, this won't take long. So we'll do it like that. Um, we'll do this all the way around, and we'll sort of put that... Uh, we'll, we'll remove the bags from there, and then we'll just have that like... Like that. I think. What do we think? I think that's good. I think that's good. I hope that's good. Anyway, uh, let's get these moats down. So that'll also stop trees going there as well as slowing them down. So that's sort of win-win. Uh, we'll put another one there. In fact, we'll make that out of embrasure. Uh, we'll remove that and put another embrasure there. That way we're shooting down straight into... Oh, God. Hang on. <laughs> I'm never going to be happy with this fucking... Uh, this kill box. Right. There we go. And we'll, we'll make that double up just so we don't get sappers. We'll remove that, we'll remove that, and put that there. There we go. So they're sort of filtering in to an area that's going to be cut off. Right, I like that. What do we think? No, take that away. Take that one away. Take them away. All right, that one's good. I feel like they're going to be pushed out and into the into the box without being able to hide behind anything. We technically don't need that sandbag there anymore either. Okay, right, I've already wasted a shit ton of time on that. Anyway, hopefully that's good. Let me, get, let me know what you think. This is all in braces as well, isn't it? No, it's not. You fucking fool. Absolute idiot. Right, that's... All embrasures, 100%. We are safe. We can shoot into that, and they will die. Good. Uh, let's triple that one up as well, just so they can't get through. That looks good to me. It gen genuinely looks good. Oh, shit. Hang on. We'll have to do the inside walls first, genius. Okay. There's our kill box. Let me know what you think. If we need any changes, let me know. And obviously, we might not even end up tapping into this anyway. We could always do it across the river. That would make more sense. Because obviously, they'd be slowed down coming across the river. Like, I'm overcomplicating it. Let's actually get on with the game. So, Eagle Throog, um, AB and Arrow, who is sleeping in this room. And then we also have our Elder Thing who is a nighttime character, so he's building the roof in our new warehouse. Right, let's speed up. Just finish the little panels. We need batteries, and then the power problems are solved. Um, what's our growing looking like right now? What are we looking at? Um, our best growing skill is 10. We can grow heal root. Oh, shit, I think we can grow devil strand with 10, can't we? Dude, we need to start on that easily, and, and uh, or as soon as possible. So the thing about devil strand is it's also very, very good for making money, because you could just craft devil stone uh, couch pieces, and sell the furniture, devil, st uh, devil stone, did I say devil stone, <laughs> devil strand hats, and sell those, if you've got high crafting, which we do have a character with high crafting now, so we could do that as well, so this is going on the list, oh my god, I just cleared everything, Ooh. so in, when, when, you, when you're doing regular computer stuff, normally if you hold down control, 
um, or it will just add it onto your already existing list. And this you have to press shift, which does it in computers as well, but that's generally if you keep them from one point to another, it'll take everything in between. Like, it's not important. More to the point, I keep pressing control because that makes fucking sense and it's, it's clearing everything off. Anyway, batteries we want. We want microelectronics. Uh, let's go ahead and queue that up. And we also want Devil's Strand. No, we want agriculture. Shit, agri... Ag agriculture. I think I spoke an agriculture last time as well, didn't I? Um, add that to the list. And then we also want... What was I doing? What was I getting? Hang on, don't tell me. I remember. Devil's Strand. Boom. Okay, so that's the lineup. Um, maybe we should get microelectronics first. No, batteries are definitely one more important. Ignore me. Okay, so you are good at basically everything, aren't you? So he's gonna finish off these uh, these walls now, which is gonna be very very useful. We've got any marble blocks left? Um, we do have some. Yeah. Okay. So we should be able to finish this up before the morning comes. Then. So one thing we want to start on now that we have a craft set is we probably want to set up a electric tailor bench somewhere. Hopefully in this room we can fit it. Yeah. We can if we move on these damn plant pots. Um, let's just reinstall you over here. Why not? And we'll get that set up so we can actually give this dude some clothes. Because he's not very happy about not having any clothes. And I can understand why. You know, Eagle Throog, she's a very intimidating lady. And walking around Dawn of Three is probably pretty scary when you're next to her. So what we want to get is electric tailor bench. Um, make it out of wood. I really don't care too much. Or steel. No, we actually don't have much steel left, apparently. Oh, it's because we haven't hauled it all yet. Right, I see. Sure, we'll make it out of wood. Why not? And then we need to chop down... Oh, we've got plenty of wood. What the fuck? Hey, haul this? And uh, we probably want to get all this urgently hauled as well, so that it actually shows upon the stockpile, and then we know what we've got and what we can actually play around with here. So let's haul everything. Boom. Um, let's get these mechanoids hauled as well, if you don't mind. And that should be good. Right, we'll build the electric um, smithing table, the electric whatever table. Smith some clothes. Yeah, we'll smith some clothes for Abenario here with our good crafter, who is my good... Wait. Don't have a good crafter? Oh, no, he's just got a passion for crafting. Right. Oh, that's a little bit annoying. So we could have him just practice making hats all day if he's really got nothing else to do to increase his crafting skill. Because he's got passion for it, it'll also keep his mood up. So it's better than recreation. Why not? Sure. Um, how many bones have we got? That's an important thing. 155. Right. Let's build ourselves a new bone thing. Um, what? That's, that's my nickname on uh, on DeviantArt. I don't know. What do the kids use these days for, for bone things? Okay. Uh, what am I looking for here? Let's build him... Um, um, uh, Elder Thing Bed. That's what we're after. We'll make it out of bone, because I imagine he'll love that. Oh my god, they're huge. Oh, and you can't rotate them either. Shit, that's annoying. Okay, we'll put it there. Get rid of that. Um, Eagle Throog, you, my friend, are unloading inventory? Carrying plastic? No, I want you to to work on the, the bed, though. She can't even work on it. I haven't got an option. Why can't I prioritize her working on that bed? How, many, how much bone do we need? 155. That's only going to take 35. Oh, is he actually the better builder? No. No, he's not. Why can she not build that? Can only Elder Things build Elder Things beds, then? Oh, maybe. Okay, I never really thought about that. Okay, fair enough. What about now? Nope. Okay, he actually just has to work on that by himself, then. Fair enough. There we go. Okay, um... Hey, wake up and deconstruct that bed and sleep in your proper bed. Right, set owner. Um, obviously him. He's the only one that can actually use it. There we go. Now, is that giving him, like, a bonus, maybe? Uh, needs? Quite comfortable? Okay, well, that seems good. Right, let's haul this shit out of his bedroom as well, and then we'll start working on the next object. So we'll get him a light in his room so he's not in darkness as well, otherwise he'll complain about that when he's in bed. Um, put that there, why not? Okay, this is looking pretty decent. Help me, I'm scared. What the hell is this? One of the moon is orbiting in front of the sun, it's a blood moon. Um, what does that do then? I assume that makes everyone sad or some shit. Saw blood moon. Oh, for God's sake. Numbing cold. What? Is he, is he, what, are you cold or something? Why are you cold? Oh, he's in a fucking fridge. Hey, get out of the fridge, idiot. Right. Um, what about now? Okay, so he's no longer he's no longer cold. It's because he hasn't got any clothes on. Right, I see. So all Blood Moon is just not minus 10, is it? Right, okay. That's a little bit annoying, because whenever they go outside, they're obviously going to be hit with that. Not ideal. Um, Eagle Throog's doing okay, considering she's still got those muscle parasites and doesn't have a lung. Minor break risk? Oh, Jesus, what's wrong with you? Oh, he's always going to be seeing the Blood Moon, because obviously he's a night owl. Okay, well that could be a little bit annoying to try and manage that. He's, he's trying to, he's having a nice time now. Go and work on your chair. I'll set him up a bone elder thing chair there, which should uh, hopefully make him a little bit happier. There you go. You've got plenty of bone for that, my friend. I'm going to try and build everything out of bone, because I'm a sensible human being. With uh, with no morals. I haven't got any morals. Well, they're not human bones, so why do you guys care? I mean, they might be human bones. They will be human bones eventually, that's what I'm trying to say. A ship is passing by. They're known as Buddy Industries. They're a mad scientist trader. Um, fair enough. Eagle? 
To all Buddy Industries, Mad Science Trader, you need a powered orbital beacon to Oh, shit. Do we really not have... Oh, no, that's with microelectronics, isn't it? God damn it. Well, never mind, then. I guess we'll... it'll come back eventually. Trade ships, once they've generated, will, will regenerate over time. Nice, look at this. So they're preparing the kill box now. We've made a little bit of progress. These embrasures take fucking ages to build, by the way. So it's, uh, let's just find one that we haven't started any work on at all yet. So 58 compared to a regular wall, which is 15. It's almost four times as much work there. Oh, God. The Orion Corp again? Oh, my God, they're on an alpaca. This is the worst day of my life. Although, we can get another good gun from them, so that's fine. Now, one of you said that apparently the Elder Things have their own sort of laser guns. And they can't use human guns, but they can use that Sonic Blast, which might come in handy. Um, Alright then. Let's squad up, boys, and get behind the embrasures. So what time is it now? It's, it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Kind of difficult to tell because the whole, you know, nighttime thing. I do want to check all these other rooms as well, see if there's anything valuable in there. Cargo pods, what's in there? They expect one of us in the wreckage, brother. Oh, it's shrimps. Thank you, thank you, Bane. I appreciate the shrimps. Brother, where are my, where are my shrimps? Uh, Flea. The bassist of uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers has given up. He's taken up uh, alpaca riding. And apparently he's now the new director of Orion Corp. Maybe that doesn't mean the head of the Orion Corp. Maybe it actually means, like, just a, a, a member of the Orion Corp. Maybe they're all called directors. Seems a bit counterintuitive to me, but there we go. Um, we'll let Eagle through do whatever Eagle through got to do. Um, it's still work hour? Oh, shit. Here they come. Okay. Um, you guys want to come back? <laughs> Please hide behind the embrasures. Okay. We should absolutely be able to destroy them, seeing as we've got these embrasures set up. And they're, you know, they're not made of anything weak. They are marble as well. Oh, God, don't do this. He doesn't have a weapon, though, does he? Even though he's got the assault rifle equipped, he can't shoot it. So you guys run back. Unless he can shoot lasers out of his eyes or something. Drop the weapon, come back and help. See if that works. Oh, absolutely shredded. Oh, careful. The embrasures. The embrasures actually saved. You see that? They actually returned fire very briefly, but didn't hit us at all. Might be because we, you know, absolutely shredded them with bullets there. Oh, another Orion exoskeleton gone to waste. Damn it. I feel like we need, like, a melee rusher with, like, loads of armor, loads of power armor, and then they just head out, rush them down, and beat them over the head with the club so we can extract their, their spine. Damn it, those things would be so useful. Okay, never mind them. Um, so that Orion Corp gun is much, much more powerful than this thing, right? So go and equip that one. Um, they also were helpful enough to bring us some medicine there. Very useful. What, do they have any other gear? Orion uniform shirt, does that do anything? No, it's just a shirt. I mean, we could sell it for apparently 70, so that's fine. Um, you might want to strip all of our bodies then and sell those off. Hey, uh, do you want to haul this? It's actually really valuable, fool. Haul that. Sorry, Llama. Um, time to die. Oh, it's now Packer. I said that to begin with, didn't I? So I was kind of interested in what you guys would actually want for the name of the colony, because I figured that people who are watching RuneWorld might not actually be up to date on the CK2 series and might not be watching it at all. So, the top up voted comment and I probably should have saw this come in, really, was the Cult of the Elder Four, uh, with 45 upvotes there, so congrats to you. So we're going to call this one the Cult of the Elder Four. Um, the Elder Four, of course, being Diswaltney, Elrang, Jerry King, and Everqueen, not necessarily in that order. And you want to rename the uh, actual community itself to Thrug's Abyss, which is so much cooler than what I came up with. We go Thrug's Abyss. There we go. The Cult of the Elder Four, Thrug's Abyss. I like that. If actually now known as the Cult of the Elder Four, that's so cool. And just to uh, just to completely solidify what we've done here, we can go and have a look at the map. And obviously we can set up separate settlements, but we're not going to do that at all because that's like some end game shit. Thrug's Abyss. There it is. My god, that's so cool. And we're in the steamy Helior and next to the Bree Simon Sea there. Damn. Okay, so what are we doing then? We've got this Blood Moon still. A little bit annoying. Um, Eagle Thruga herself obviously out of the count. She's still got her Muscle Parasite, so she's not having a good time of it. These things take so long to get rid of. It's really annoying. Um, we probably couldn't have got much worse, I'll be honest with you. Short of, like, the plague or maybe death. Um, so, the other thing I wanted to point out, well, another really useful comment one of you guys left, was that apparently we can restore our sanity using a typewriter, which should be uh, maybe in production? I doubt it. It's probably in, what do we think, like, Joy Objects? Um, recreation. No. Where the, where the fuck is typewriter, though? Hang on. Alright, so that's another research that we'll have to do later on in that case. Okay, right. So let, let's actually add that to the list. Or is it typewriting? Or is it shift? Hang on. Shift, left click, add to queue. Done. Okay, so we've got, right, we've got research pages and put and then typewriting. I feel like this is another one of those very essential things we should probably get early on. Because the only other option we have to clear madness is to go crazy. Um, which doesn't seem particularly con... Oh! The, the blood moon's gone. Yeah, that doesn't seem particularly conducive to, um, you know, a nice productive colony if everyone's going fucking nuts. Um, as the only option to actually get back their consciousness and sanity there. So, alright. How's the killbots going? My good friend, uh, Daffy Tadafar. Um, pretty good, it turns out. So, I've got a list 
of uh, various Rimworld characters, obviously given to me by the patrons. And when we've cleared through this list, I'll let you guys at home uh, leave a comment. And we'll name characters after you guys. I'll pick someone random on the videos. But for now, I've got a few characters already on the backlog from last series, which I never actually ended up giving away here. So, we're going to rename our first character here um, from Daffy Tada Far, because that's an impossible name. We're going to rename you to uh, Yankee Danky, as suggested by my good friend and Patreon supporter, Croesus. There we are. We've got ourselves Yankee Danky, the Elder Demon. And Abenerio, you are also going to be renamed to, uh, funnily enough, Al... Alchemia. Mentioned him earlier, but there we go. Alchemia, Alchemia. Not sure, but there we go. Thank you for that one. Okay, so there's two names. Perfect. And of course, Eagle Thruk herself. How's she doing right now? Are you alright, Eagle? Oh, shit. Serious pain, obviously. Can't do much about that. Sick. Can't, again, can't do much about that. Disturbed sleep. Um, That's a little annoying. So what can we do about disturbing sleep, then? We could... I mean, auto door seemed like the obvious one, but I think the only reason her sleep was disturbed was because we were trying to empty out this room and get the mechanoids out and things like that. Why is that mechanoid not being hauled? I must have not set it to take corpses? No, it takes corpses. Let's try that again. Um, for some reason, it wasn't accepting those ones. Too heavy. No empty accessible spot configured to store it. Excuse me? Corpses. Mechanoid corpses. Scyther corpse. Hmm... Citation needed on that one game. Okay, it doesn't matter anyway, because we'll just machine them and break them down, so it doesn't matter too much. Um, just a little bit annoying that they have to be in this dude's bedroom. Are they... Oh, shit, they're minus 49 to beauty. That's... Okay, that's a little annoying. Doesn't matter too much, but I guess we'll have to machine them sooner rather than later in that case. A little bit of inconvenient. Um, machining table is pretty important to have anyway. And I'm trying to ram it all in this tiny room, because this tiny room is really nice to... Uh, for our colonists to actually work in. Instead... Why don't we start working on the storage room for a sort of uh, temporary workshop? So we'll do that instead. So we'll reinstall this over here. Um, we get that. Sorry. Stone cutter requires terrain that can support heavy. Oh, because that's a bridge. Right. Um, okay, then. In that case, just build that there. Cancel that one. Um, so we've got that one being moved over. Th this one can stay in here. I'm quite fine with that one. So this one can also be reinstalled into this one as well. We'll get this as close as possible so we can get tool cabinets. And that will increase the speed of their research too. To get that one over there with um, with the, some more chairs built as well, probably couldn't hurt. So stone cuts table, put a copy of that one there, put a copy of that one there, perfect. And then we're going to expand that zone. Now what we can do, this is also win-win, because they're going to be grabbing the resources from here to uh, obviously build whatever they're building at these tables. We can also have them drop them straight on the floor, so they don't have to walk back and forth between the different areas. This is something I should have done earlier, to be honest with you. Now this is kind of tempting. So Tarity contracts you, contacts you? <laughs> contacts you and requests help. It is wounded and unable to move. Without your help, it will die in seven days. There are 1,755-year-old Glitter World Surgeons, so they'd be good at research and intellectual. Uh, there may be danger there. So why don't we send Alchemia off to go and grab that? Let's go and see whereabouts in the world it is for a start, obviously. Um, they're actually kind of close. We've got to go through some mountains, but that's not too far away at all. So I might go form caravan. We'll send... Um, yeah, we'll send you, because you've got the lowest value, apparently, which is pretty funny. And we'll also send you off with some food as well. So, package survival meals don't... Oh, shit, we've eaten them all? God damn it. Okay. Um, take the simple meals, then. Why not? So, how long have we got? We've got a 1.1 day of berries on the way there. Shit, that's not good. Um, for, for, oh, that's forage per day. We move five tiles per day. Um, we might as well take 2.4, and we should be good for that, I think. So, choose route. I'm going to route you to there. That's good, so he's going to move the most efficient route there. How long is it going to take? 1.3 days. Oh, that's no time at all. Yeah, absolutely. Let's do that. Choose route and accept. Yes. I only got 2.4 days of food. It's going to take us less time than that to get there. And we got forage. I wish they'd sort of tidy that up a little bit because it's a bit of a confusing system otherwise. It doesn't make much sense with the way they've sort of described it there. Why have we lost power to this? Excuse me? Have we just got not enough being outputted? No? What's happened with that then? Uh, we just lost a... Um, reconnect? Um, excuse me, you seem to be fucking me up here and I don't know why. Uh, Eagle, do you want to try and fix this? Okay, there we go. Don't toggle it back on. What the hell's the deal with that? Um, your power use low, but it's working though. I don't, no, it's actually not working. What the fuck's going on with that? We don't have a power access, do Maybe we do. Maybe it's where I've installed some other things. We've now got... So 1,000 watt output, the grid is, oh, we've got an excess of 198 watt, right, okay. So that'll be from where we've reinstalled this table, so let's go ahead and move that immediately then. Um, prioritize working on electric tailor bench, get that out of there. 
We should be good now. Uh, grid access of 118 watt, but that is giving us just enough to get the cooler back on at least. Right, there we go. And he is moving to the incapacitated refugee. It's going to take him a couple of days there, 1.8, and that'd be pretty good. That'd be our fourth colonist as well, so we'll be pretty safe at that stage. Um, Eagle 3, you need recreation, don't you? Because you haven't had any for ages because she's obviously got to spend more time in bed because of the muscle parasites. Cooked cannibalism? I'm not, I'm not entirely sure that's true. I ate a meal made from the meat of another human. That's not true at all. Um, clearly where we butchered that other elder thing, that counts as that. Oh, uh, shit, okay. Oh, fuck, we're gonna have to get rid of all the fine meals then, aren't we? Because they're all just stacked up now, that's a little bit annoying. Okay, uh, forbid those. Apparently we're, we'll just feed that to prisoners or something, they can, they can have the, the filth meat instead. Oh, that's so annoying. Um, damn it. Uh, so what might be easier then, if we say, go ahead and just leave them outside somewhere? So, um... I didn't realize that would give us, obviously, the, the consumed human being modifier. Seeing as it wasn't a fucking human being. Maybe that's just me. Maybe I don't consider these boys human beings. And I'm just a racist. I'm not sure. Uh, meals. What do we want? We want uh, fine meals. Oh, yeah. Fine meals are fine. I like the stir fry counts as a fine meal. That's pretty funny. Right. Um, let's get you to urgently haul these. Oh, Christ. Um, no, no fine meals here. Right. Urgently haul these. And I've got to fix it before I forget for next time. No, no, no. Where are you putting that? Uh, did you just pick all of those up? No. That's not what I said to do. I didn't say pick up all the fine meals, you dick. Right. Drop them. No, that's wake up. Well, you can drop that as well. I don't really care about that either. Right, forbid those. Go about your business. Right, we can go ahead and get rid of that one now. We'll go ahead and set that one back to fine meals. And you can go... And I've, I've let you go through kind of a day of recreation. Because she never gets a chance. Because of the muscle parasite, she's having to sleep like 15 hours a day. So I figured we'll let her have a day of recreation. You know, chill out for a bit. Just get your, get your mood back up, especially as apparently she's eaten human flesh, which she hasn't, by the way. That's not, not my fault. I did not hit her. I did not. Um, and we definitely didn't eat a human being. So that can stay outside and rot for all I care. What's that? It's 49 out of 50. Eh. You know what? Eh. It doesn't matter too much. It doesn't mean, unfortunately, we're going to have to make more meals, which is a little bit annoying. Um, we don't have any... Oh, Jesus. Sonic Blast. Boom. I did nothing. Is he going to be okay? Is he going to get killed by an alpaca? Unbelievable. He's actually got no weapons. Uh, Igor, come and back him up for the love of God. Yeah, she's actually heading over, which is nice of her. Even when she's on recreation time, she's still gathering class steel to inventory. Right, come on, head over. Give him a hand. This is the worst fight I've ever seen. This is actually unbelievable. He's not doing any serious damage, but it is bruising the shit out of him, so he's not going to be able to work for the rest of today. My God. Unbelievable. You people are unbelievable. That's a single alpaca, and it took him decades to kill the damn thing. So, Alchemia is almost at the drop site where we're going to find Tara T. Surgeon. Hopefully, the threats are not too massive. Otherwise, we're probably going to lose you. I'm going to be honest with you. If it's like six dudes with guns, you're screwed. <laughs> oh, well, you might not be screwed. I might just be able to uh, direct you. So, he's just about to arrive now, isn't he? Shit, that's pretty good. That went by very, very fast. I thought it would take him much longer than that. All right, Igor. Um, you should probably go ahead and... Uh... Can we not tend to him when he's in his damn coffin? Oh, really? Prioritize... Yeah, there we go. Prioritize tending. We just have to click near it. Okay, there we go. So he's going to get patched up. A little bit annoying, the whole alpaca thing. And we have arrived at the incapacitated refugee. Oh, what a weird map. Look at this. Oh, I didn't take any fucking medicine. What an idiot. What is this map, though? So strange. Okay. Um, shit, I can't believe I didn't take any medicine. Is there any heal root kicking around? Um, look, look with your special eyes. Hmm, I can't see any. This could be an issue. Um, it's not serious, is it? No, it's just a lot of bruises. Okay, you'll be fine. Um, go ahead, and you are now a doctor. Congratulations, you're hired. Okay, tend to offer help. Yeah, offer help. Ambush? Oh, God. <gasps> an ostrich. <laughs> How the fuck is an ostrich ambush? Is that so good? Right. Uh, rescue joins. Okay, just prioritize tending to them for now. Um, carry and leave the area. Oh, shit. That's cool. Okay, we need to actually put down a bed, though. So we'll just go ahead very quickly and put down a sleeping spot. There we go. And rescue. And shit. Tending. Squad up. Actually kill that ostrich dead. Nice. Good shot. Okay. Um, squad down. And then heal them up. Perfect. Okay, we should be... Oh, my God. There's more ostriches? The numbers will count for nothing. Oh, gavel. Don't die as well. No, actually, like, shoot him, though. Shoot him dead. Shoot, shoot him. Cannot mount? Animal busy? Yeah, no shit. It's busy trying to kill us, game. Okay. 
what a, what a fun experience this has been. You might as well self-tend as well, otherwise you are going to get... Uh, oh my god, he's bleeding. What the fuck happened? The ostrich bit off his thumb. You should probably tend to that, because that could actually get infected. My god, unbelievable. Well, we did get someone new, though. Tara T. I'm not going to name them until we get them home in one piece, because I don't want you know one of you to be gypped out of having a free character here. Right, there we go. Bitten off. Ostriches don't have teeth, so that's kind of impressive. Okay, let's get you up to date and fresh and ready to go. Then we can just get him to carry her home, I suppose. Him, her, they... I don't know if these guys have genders. It appears you have a bruised bottom ring. I'm sorry. I, I hate to be the bearer of bad news. So this has taken just about four hours. Because uh, this dude has no skill. Intending, it turns out. Oh, God. And he's about to drop. It's, it's taken him that long to patch this character up. That he's about to fall asleep from exhaustion. Like, he's actually been at this for hours and hours and hours. We might even need to put a temporary shower before we leave. I hate to say it, but I think we, it's got to be done. Um... Now, can I just carry them away? See, it won't let me carry them away anymore. Is that because I've tended to them, genuinely? No, it's because we've got a sleeping spot now. Hang on, deconstruct. Rescue? We've got an option to rescue, but we haven't got the option to carry them away anymore. Oh, shit, really, game? Really? Uh, why has it done that? Maybe you have to do it within a certain time frame. Can we just, can we just leave? Yeah, can we just, can we just leave, though, and you, uh, rescue? No, what if, what if we just leave? Uh, leave the reform caravan in the world view. Maybe if we just go reform caravan? And send them. Oh, we can just send them off. Nice, that works. Okay, um, off you go, squad. Choose route and head back to base. It's only a day without food. You'll be fine. Uh, apparently, it's 5.9 days without food. You'll be fine, I'm sure. Um, days of food, zero. Forage per day, 1.1. They're going to be okay. I'm not sure what this in implies. How much food do they need per day? I don't know. Fuck it. You know what? Just go. You know what? If, if, if something bad happens, we'll send them back. Okay? Um, choose route. Accept. Off you go. Now, if anything bad, we'll just meet them halfway and go and take them some food or something. Okay, our first bamboo harvest. Nice. We need to take a look at this in a second. Collins needs treatment. Who? That's really eagle through because she's got damn muscle parasites still. My god, this is really killing the game, isn't it? We could have got so much done. We could have this whole kill box finished by now if it wasn't for eagle through getting muscle parasites and Yankee Danky apparently getting beaten up by goddamn alpaca? Llama? Whatever it was. You're pathetic. Um, Yankee Danky's become plotting against the local cult of Jerry King. Because his cult minusness is low. How do I increase that? How do, how do I increase that, though? How do we increase cult mindedness? I feel like I should look into this before it becomes a problem. Okay, so apparently I have to research successful cults and give sermons? Oh, have we not got enough to do? Jesus. Okay, um. Right, get rid of all this then. Good, goodbye, 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 goodbye. Right, okay. So we want successful cults and sermons. Really? Oh, that's 3,000 research? Okay, um, fine. It's got to be done. Honestly, if they're going to rebel against the cult, that can't happen. The series is literally called Cult of Igor or whatever. So, I feel like we genuinely need to actually get this worked on. Igor, your number one priority, if you choose to accept it, is researching successful cults. No pressure. Um, these boys are still away. How long is it going to take them? Using zero bedrolls? Oh, shit. There's so much I need to learn about caravans, because this was not in, not in RimWorld when I last played it properly. So... This could take some time. Days of food, zero. But they are getting 1.1 a day, which I think is enough, right? Is that enough to keep them alive? H health? We okay? Very poor. Very poor. So he's having to carry her. Yeah, okay. Um, How long? Should we have just waited for them to, to heal up? I am not. I just don't know how it works. I genuinely don't know how these caravans work. I don't know the, I don't know the method by it. Uh, you're all right. Look, you're just bruised by an alpaca. You can, yeah, you can get out of bed now. It's all right. You can, you can go and work. No, it's too late. It's the daytime. You can't work anymore. You're a night owl. Okay, so I don't know how these caravans work. That's what I've realized. So they don't seem to be foraging for food at all, despite the fact they got they said they got one forage a day. So I've had them rest, um, which is apparently two times faster, but it's still zero. So I feel like we're going to have to send a rescue effort because he's just broken down in sadness now because he's hungry. My God, this game. Okay, um, can we just send everybody to go and rescue them? Or will that not work? Do we always need to keep one person left behind? Okay, you, my friend, are off to go and rescue. We might just have to build up for a couple of days and take a long time getting home. Like, take it safely. Right, okay. Um, Form caravan. Send, we can't send them both, can we? Oh, we actually can. Do I want to do that, though? Forage per day, 21. I don't understand why these other people can't forage. Hmm, who knows? Okay, who cares? Anyway, um, Igor, my good friend Igor, you can stay behind. Yankee can be sent forward to go and actually save them. So take some fucking meals with you. I'll take all the unlimited days of food. Yes, good. That's what I like to hear. Right, choose route. Let's send you to here. No, we've got a. Is that unpot? Why can't we move to there? Yeah, I want to move to 
I don't want to move to there. I don't want to... <laughs> what? Uh... No, 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 no. This is not right. Why is that... Okay, move to there, I suppose? And... Oh my god, this is ridiculous. Remove, remove, remove. Right, I see how it works now. No. Nope. So is this impossible? Is there, like, something here which means they can't stop there and rest? Maybe that's it. I don't know. We'll, we'll meet them there, though. We'll try and get those guys to go to there, even if they are starving. I'm sure they'll make it eventually. This guy can go and meet them there. Oh, my God. What a mess. Okay, so that's good. Then they've taken a shit ton of food for them. We should probably take some medicine as well, just in case. So we'll take ten lots of medicine. Um, that will do, except this large part of the caravan's food will rot soon. Yeah, whatever. Look, just take it with you. Right, off we go. Rescue mission 101. Let's begin. Ooh, that was looking bad for a second. There we go. We got Major Breakfast on Igor. Oh, because she's, like, researching, you know, cults and shit. Um, these guys have finally merged. They've got plenty of food. It's going to rot in 2.7 days, but they're going to be home way before then. Wow, that was that was pretty close. I was a little worried then. Um, he stopped his state because now he's, he's be, you know, being fed. So they're going to be home in how long? They're moving 2.7, 2.2 .2 tiles a day, damn it. And Igor's having a breakdown because she's been doing too much cult research, despite the fact that it's an incredibly slow study anyway. Oh, damn it. Um, right. Oh, my God. She's absolutely trashing the fucking place. Igor, you dick. Oh, my God. She's honestly fucking completely trashed it. Really? You idiot. Okay. Um... See, we need a typewriter to get rid of the, the insanity, and we can't get rid of the insanity because we need the research for the cult-mindedness before they rebel, and we can't do the cult-mindedness because she's insane. This is this is back this is backwards mod. This is backwards mod. Oh, someone just crashed right outside. Well, that seems pretty convenient. What are you good at? You're good at researching, good constructing, and that's it. Oh, she's still young, right? So she hasn't got an adult um anything. Psychically dull, nimble, hard worker. Those seem pretty useful. Uh, let's build her a bed where we can. No, let's just build her a sleeping spot. Fuck it. Uh, you don't deserve a bed. Right. Um, furniture. You get yourself a sleeping spot, and if you don't join us, I'm actually gonna kill you and eat you. Trust me. I've I've apparently put human meat in meals before. Right. Um, that is now a medical sleeping spot. Right. And go and go and rescue her. Igor, go and rescue her. God damn it. Unbound to the proper order of the cosmos, the stars themselves seem to sting our eyes with hateful scorn. What does that mean? What is this? I don't know what that means. You know, look, it's four in the morning in my time. I don't know what that means. I'm not even going to try and think about what that means. What What does that mean, though? <laughs> what is, maybe there's something in the world. Hang on. Uh, no, we seem pretty good. Uh, stars definitely not burning my eyes right now. Uh, yeah, I have no idea. Oh, speaking of world map, where are our boys? Uh, where are we? Uh, right, there we are. Right, so how, how far away are they right now? They're still making their way back. It's going to be very, very slow because obviously Tarity is down there. Now, hopefully, we can also get this person to our squad as well. Just just numbers are going to help out right now because we've got too many jobs for just a few people to be doing here. Wow, really low treatment quality. What if we could get a hospital bed? Oh, wait, we need to research it first. And obviously, we can't research it because <clears throat> uh, we're, we're busy researching just about everything else that we need to keep this damn colony afloat. I feel like... Oh, she's joined her group after being rescued. Magar, you are going to be renamed to uh, the greatest name of all. I don't know this. So I'm just going to put the next one on the list. Magar, you are instead... Get out of the way. Uh, you are going to be called Nobles, as in the patron. Nobles. There we are. Wow. And hopefully we can also get Tarot and we can rename that after someone as well. It's so good. This is this is in, this is good. We've we've had a lot of progress this episode just in terms of you know actual colony growth. Um, actually, Igor, prioritize working on that bit because that's going to make all of our food rot. Otherwise, shit, we're completely out of food, aren't we? Oh, Igor, could you have put the base up any worse? Honestly, you idiot. There seems to be very much an order to do things in this mod. Before you found your cult, you seem to need, you know, typewriters and altars and sermons and cult-mindedness. But I don't know if the cult forms manually before you get all that, or whether or not I've just prioritised the wrong thing. Kind of like batteries. Those would be good. Maybe you should have got all that on the feet first before we did the cults, I guess. Anyway, it doesn't matter too much. Thank you for watching. That's the end of this episode for today. Uh, we'll come back to this tomorrow, when hopefully, Alchemia and Yankee, Yankee and Tarity are home. And uh, we can assign them the various jobs and actually get on with some rim welding rather than just saving people's lives. Shout out to my insane tier patrons Big Dick Timmy, Sean Thornton, Zachary Harris, Harik, Lucas Halting, Hey Dog, Croesus, Gabriel Randers, Jocelyn, Dean Tesla, Michael Mullen, Logan Thorne, Spidey, James Ogilvy, Jack Escape, Jackson Woodman, and Tyler Birch for their insane tiers of support. You're almost as insane as Eagle Throog. And shout out to my sensible tier patrons 
Nathaniel Lindbergh, Brandon Wintonia, Necrofilm, Felix Deal, Princess Ugly the Dragon, Nick, Noblesse, Quet Lachley, Zara Even, Fagundo Vasquez, Paul Master, and Proto Augustus, Jack Allen, Chancellor, Sheep Palpatine, I'm the Lizard King, Luana Thomas, Euron DeVries, Euphetes, Dunk 22 and 7, Jordan Campbell, Astro, Sidney, Joseph Beer, and Chris, for their same levels of support. You are as sane as our new character, who has not yet been inducted into the cult, but will be soon. See you next time.